happened you know, there? Ronnie's been out there just needling people all morning. Wait, you say it like this is the first time he's done that. <laughs> but he's been particular. <laughs> you know, somebody said to me, Ronnie's on fire today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I know the E-Crew got it on tape. I'm in the process of editing that tape now because i got to bleep it. But I asked around about what happened. And as best I can tell, Tabitha gave some pictures to Dan to give to Ronnie. But there's some history between them. They don't like each other. Really? So Dan gave the pictures to Ronnie. And Ronnie said, what are you, her effing agent? And then it just escalated from there. <laughs> <laughs> so but Ronnie's, Ronnie's had something to say to everybody who's gone through the hall today. Absolutely. Ronnie has no fuse whatsoever. Like, it just, <laughs> it just, just, just ignites. Yeah. What? You have no Here fuse. Goes. You just ignite. I ignite? I did not ignite. <laughs> I heard you're out there fighting and yelling. I'm out not the... fighting and yelling. This guy, I Well, just... I'm going to hear the tape. I don't care. Might I'll, as well I'll come clean. You, I'll give you the tape right now. I don't. I don't. You don't have to play anything. I'll tell you what happened. What, what happened? happened? He, he, there was there were some pictures that Tabitha had. Okay, so I said to him, "Now uh, you're, you're Tabitha's agent. If Tabitha wanted me to have the picture, she would have gave it to me before when she showed it to she me. She would have given it to me. Whatever. <laughs> <All right. laughs> don't don't set me off, man. You know, uh, I'm trying see, to, he doesn't I'm like trying to blow up. It no, fuse, she would have okay? gave me. Given it. I'm, she know, would have given it. Whatever. To me. She would have gave. Did he say gave it? He, he said he, gave it. She gave whatever. It. I would have gotten. She would have. She would have am Whatever. gotten it. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Me and him have a history, okay? From a long time ago. He and, me and I. Me and him. Whatever. Hello there, Whatever it is, dude. I understand have, you gave him a picture. Did you go to school at like one day yeah. at yeah, all? Yeah, one day at a time. You graduated, right? Yeah, I graduated right. from the School of Hard Knocks. Go ahead. Okay. So, and we, we have a history, okay? I don't like him and he doesn't like me. That's not true. And it goes back a long time. Why don't you like Why him? Don't I don't you even like remember. Him? Because he ha he has an attitude. Okay. He <laughs> <laughs> All right. He has a friggin he has a friggin attitude. And he doesn't like to be told anything. Okay. That's so untrue. Like, right? what do you tell him? Like, I asked him to stay in a green room and stay away from the guests. And right, I know this guy, and I have the right to go in and Wait, say hello to him. He came. Okay? He came to me earlier this morning. Maybe right? Ronnie doesn't know this. He said to me, "Listen, I know we're not supposed to go in the green room and bother guests. However, I am friends with Shuli. Is it okay if I go in and say it had hello? Had nothing to do with Shuli. This was with okay. the Ace. Yeah. Okay, so that I didn't know about. Okay. Now, I can bring you up to date on that, but first of all, we might have had a history. We've had some confrontations, but I don't dislike or hate the guy. I, I didn't say I hated you, so I ha let's get I that ha straight. I happen, no, you said you I happen to like the, no, I, I like the no, guy, I didn't but say I, I hated him, lightly. all right? I asked him, you I know sit the guy's in the hall, high I don't bother him at all. He walks past so me funny. like he's not even there, all right? And I expect him to do the same thing to me, all right? <laughs> well, see, that's, see, that's a lot of the But don't turn my screws, okay? If, if I'm not talking, you, you say, don't talk to me. What does he say to you I don't that need, turns your no, screws? No, no, apparently he's, what he said... I call him Mr. Smirk. He constantly... He's got this... Oh, he's got this <laughs> stupid smirk on his face. Yeah, everybody talks okay? about it all the time. It's, it's They do. It's Actually, they do. The, definitely the general I'll bring consensus. in 10 people right now to talk about your smirk on your face. Maybe after you make your comments with your attitude, I have a smirk on my face because to me... I don't like, talk yeah, to you. Come on, dude. give me a break. I don't talk to you. Th I mean, this is a classic Ronnie example. I if, don't talk to you. If, if I could please. I don't talk, talk to you. I'm See, sorry for talking you. while you're interrupting, but I'll, I'll try to get a word in edgewise. Okay? Okay? Let's see. Yeah. Maybe we can work this out. Yeah, I don't want to work it out. I just want to keep it the way it is. Forget about working it out. But the way it is appears not to be working. He handed you pictures of Tabitha and you went off on her. I didn't go off him. I just asked him if he's his her agent. Oh, come on. That's not nice. This is a classic example of Ronnie always having to know everything. Tabitha, I went to give Tabitha back her pictures, which she left on the couch. She said, oh, that's for Ronnie. I want Ronnie to have it. So I went to give it to him. He's like, what are you, a agent now? I said, no, she wanted you to have it. If she wanted me to have it, she would have given it to me herself. Exactly. It's like, into it. that too. <laughs> However, that's not what happened because she wanted him to have it and she asked me to give it to him. So obviously, things didn't go the way you said. They might right. have not exactly. gone the way you right. wanted. Right. However... You were wrong will, in the yeah. situation, and you can't own up to that. It's, what's the big deal? I'm handing you a picture. Just take it. If I don't you have want a to problem dealing you. with me, he doesn't want it from you. Apparently, I don't like you. Okay, well, I thought but you he doesn't said hate you. Didn't you. Like Let's get it yeah, straight. No, he, he said does. he doesn't okay. hate him. I don't I like you. I don't I guess trust, a fine I don't line trust you as far as I can throw you. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, well, maybe you can't troll okay. me that far, as you say. You're kidding. What did he do to you? Yeah, never where's mind. this? Never mind. What did he do? Never mind. You, you know no, what we want to mind. Never mind. He doesn't like <laughs> anybody questioning his authority or what he thinks is his authority. I don't have any authority. And it's so funny. He says he sits in his chair and minds his own business. However, he's one of the biggest ball busters in this place, and you 
you know that as well as everybody else does. He walks through the holes, busting everyone's balls. Well, he doesn't walk through. I mean, he, we sit, all he sits bust in his chair. Balls, exactly. Okay? That's what people do. They have but I don't time. bust your balls because I don't like you. You, you cop okay? an attitude, <laughs> and I don't want to like you, and I don't want to be your friend. People okay? sometimes okay. make the mistake you know, so of walking by him. Stay away from me, like him. I said. I think I might start <laughs> shedding some tears now because I really thought that we were going to have a meaningful. But Shirley has some insight. What were you saying? I was just saying people sometimes make the mistake of walking by Ronnie in the hallway, and that sometimes will elicit a comment. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He likes to be greeted. You know, yeah. Right. But but it's true. I mean, there was an incident the other the other day when Ace was here. One of the people that was in his entourage, I happen to know personally. I, I played stickball with the guy. Go ahead. I know the guy. Yeah. So I'm walking by. The guy's in the doorway, half in and out. No, he wasn't. And I stopped. No, I, he wasn't. He was you the walked right into the to, green room. He was room. the closest person to the door. He had already acknowledged me. Now, I could have been like running with an attitude And I told you to go clear anything by. like that with Gary before you go into the I literally, green room. I literally stopped Didn't there I? and I said, hey, how you doing? Shook his hand and that was the end of it. And then he tried to equate it to, you know, uh, you know they t Sal was told to do that, not to harass the guests. No, I didn't that. say but anything about slight, harassing. I said to you, difference. I said, next time you want to go in and say hello to somebody, just clear it with Gary. They're guests in the green room. And that's the rule around here. That is the rule yeah. for everyone. I've, I've, never, I've never entered the, the green room. That's a lie, in too. An, in an inappropriate manner. Nobody and asked you to go in there. You're supposed to ask Gary first. I was literally walking by the door, and this guy who I, am, who I know... Acknowledge me. No, he's standing closest no, you, to the door. No, he didn't. You walked now, by three now, times. No, I could have walked right past him. You walk him. by like it's a fish tank. You keep walking by and looking <laughs> in. A break. That's that's so untrue. You do it all I the could, time. I could care you less. You do it all the time. Don't you realize that every time I have to walk past the green room, what do you from feel? Where he's I, work, uh, I would have to walk past you. Do you first. feel he's, he's obsessed, obsessed with the green room? Fan. He's obsessed, obsessed fan. fan. Please. Totally. Please, I went and I said hi to the guy. There was, I, didn't, I didn't even notice what that, uh, that Ace uh, and Chuck were in the green room at I'm the not time. sure of the details, but I think something happened between these two the day of the office oh. beauty pageant. Oh, oh really? I think, like, what? It, wasn't the, you were out in the hall bitching that Dan was bothering you too much when he was dressed up like a girl? Like, he kept making Oh, yeah, well, that was nothing. He was made you joking. No, he was joking around. Yeah, that was a scoop for the round. trying to grab day, my bro. crotch, that's all. Come on, man. No, please. Are oh, you like Come that? On. Yeah. But have you felt this? But way that was a joke. That that day was a joke. Well, right? that why was okay. whoa, whoa. Hold on. Why is it? I'm just curious. Why is a joke good that day, but not other days? Well, I, it didn't annoy me like right. it annoyed me today. Okay. Now, should I have some sort of like Ronnie annoyance no, chart so I can decide me, when when I can interact I with you and when I can't? You don't have to. Just follow the rule. Let's I know stay I out of the green to. room. That's fine. That's okay? fine. I have no problem. I don't think there's never been an issue. It's with, not a fish tank. I know it's not it's a not fish tank. It's not for you to go and stare in all the time. Please. Can I ask you, Ronnie? I did not do that. Have you felt yes, this you way? Do. Have you felt this way about Dan before he started working here, or yeah. just as? Oh a, yeah. yeah, we go back a long it's time. Pretty oh, funny. That's what I thought. The very first time, the Ronnie, guy's an obsessed fan, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, you, can, you can actually. He's very lucky to have a job here. He can thank Howard for that. Oh, I consider myself very fortunate to have a job here, but I think my conduct speaks for itself. I mean, you know, Ronnie is. Obviously, a little delusional. This, yes, I'm not the I only person he's ever had a problem yes, with. What happened to... I thought we were going to have a nice, happy office. Yeah, we did. So. Wow. It one time. Stay away from me. We have a nice, happy office. Well, uh, Doug, you go ahead. You got the last word. Hey, listen, now, when I was up in the studio, okay, and Ronnie was there, he's like your bodyguard. He's about four foot eight. He's not throwing anybody anywhere. I'll come up there, Ronnie. I'll rip that freaking gray wig off your head. My gray wig? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, my gray wig. All right, crawl back in your hole, you wannabe gangster. Come on up, man. Yeah, I'll come up there. Come on up. I'll come up there and come I'll miss you because I'll step on you, you midget. Come on up there. I'll come up, you come on jerk up there. off you. Come on up there. Well, I don't know what's going wow. on. Can I, can I quickly just say what happened? The very first time Ronnie and I ever met, you had a song par parody contest going on. It's got to be when you first moved to this building. So I wanted to deliver a, sh um, a song I did. I was up 24, 30 hours straight. You know, I worked all day. I did the song. I drove here. I parked in the garage under the building. As I'm waiting, Stuttering John walks past me in the direction, I guess, towards the freight elevator. So I parked the car. I figured that's where I got to go. You know, Stuttering John just walked that way. He's obviously showing up for work. So I walk the same way. I take this elevator up. There's a clipboard on the wall that says, you know, K Rock, you know, with the, with the floor number. And then I end up in the delivery area where the door is locked and you have the, to be the buzzed. The first wall doesn't say anything on the buttons. K Rock is. I, did, I, did, did I say the buttons? Yeah. No. Why don't you just listen? I yeah. said there was a clipboard hanging okay. on the wall with like it was like a delivery yeah. line Hi, what is the point said, of yeah, all you this? couldn't get in through the front the door so you came in through the back door no, it's simple absolutely not yeah like your friend Eddie it was the first you know? it was the first it was the guy the first you don't know here. your obsessed so friend I'm not, also I'm knocking on the door yeah, so the guy Eddie Ronnie you know, answers yeah, the, the guy door that hangs outside every morning the guy with the fruit truck
That's not your friend. Yeah, I think you should be carried away yeah. in a food truck, Ronnie. Yeah. You yeah. get serious yeah. problems. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you admit that's your friend? Yeah. Good well, Lord. It's not my friend. Yeah, okay. You he's, know what's your he's friend. He's as much your friend as he is my yeah, okay. friend. Actually, you've seen okay. him more often than I have, so he's obviously your pal. Well, he writes for you, he said. Now, uh, all right, let me, as long as we got into this, you want to hear the fight in the hall? Yes. All right, here we go. That's good. There's a fight going on in the hall. I, don't, I sit there, dude, I sit there and I don't fucking bother anybody all fucking morning. Do I bother you all morning? Do I no, say a fucking word no, you to you all morning? No, you don't bother Do anybody. Do I say anything to you all morning? Absolutely Do I not. say anything to you? Are you saying Good. something now? Yeah, don't yeah, fucking you say nothing to me, all right? Relax, man. All right? Don't fuck attitude. it. Yeah, with you, yeah. Because you fucking annoy my ass. <laughs> Why? Because I say things that make sense? Yeah. And Not take, to me, you know. And I don't take your word as gospel. Hey, if dude, you agree with something, dude, then stay the fuck away. If from I agree you. with something you Plain say, I agree with it. Stay but away from me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna walk away. I'm not bothering you. Am I bothering you? Am I bothering you? Your attitude's bothering. I'm not bothering you. I'm hey. sitting there minding my own fucking business. Stay the fuck away from Somebody me. Somebody asked me to hand you something, and when I go to stay away from me, man. That's all I can tell you. All right. Just stay the fuck away from me, Dan. I'm telling you. I'm on the opposite end of the Good. Stay there. And when you walk past me, I'm a fucking piece of stone to you. Just remember that. Yeah, good. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Keep it up with your shit attitude. How did this start? Because he's a fucking asshole. That's how it started, okay? He's got a smirk on his face constantly. He wants to be a smart ass. He wants to be like Sal, okay? He'll never be Sal and he'll never be Richard Christie because he's too fucking dumb. Dude, you, could, you do have a short fuse. Yes. No, I don't. You're in the hall screaming and no, yelling. No, I don't. We, we hang out we joke all morning out there. We, you know, it's just... Yeah, but then when it gets a little... Somebody tries to turn your screws, man. It's, you know, it comes to a point. But, that's but, it. Wait, Ronnie, and I'm not coming down on you, but I'm trying yeah. to figure out how him handing the pictures was turning your screws. In a major way. Yeah. Like, because I, I just don't like him. I, I don't want him near me. Yeah, but you can't. He, the guy came over to hand you some pictures. Why don't you just take the pictures? So let Tabitha give me the pictures. If well, she that's she not up didn't. to him. She, she showed him. them to me this morning, and she said to me, aren't these nice? I yeah, said, they're Ronnie, great. If she wanted Ronnie, to give them to me, the guy did nothing me. wrong, and you're blowing your stack out in the hall. I just don't want him near me. You look unprofessional. Made it simple. Yeah, but he works here. Good, Figure let out him a way work to, here. Yeah, let but you can't. If a guy walks up and hands you something, you got to say thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the picture. It's in my pocket. Thank you. My well, pleasure. Thank you, but still always, stay away from I'm me. I'm always happy to help out. Okay? And I got to walk thank past this guy picture. no matter where I have to go you in this building. You can walk past me anytime you want. Just don't talk to me. I told you that. <laughs> you know? <it's, laughs> least I, told, he, I mean, what kind, of, what kind of situation is going on out there? Just sit there and be friendly. I do. Dude, I hang out with... Do we hang out and have a good time out there? Do I bother anybody? Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Well, at least oh, he doesn't come on, hate Dan. Yes. <laughs> come on, tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. Tell the truth for once. Come on. You like yeah, make, it good for, make it good for the air. Go no, ahead. no, it's already, this is already Yeah, I like great. to push Isaac's buttons. You push okay. my buttons. And Isaac but likes to push my it. buttons. Okay. We do it all the time. Isaac, I ain't fucking with you now. Get this camera out of my face. You're an asshole. Okay? I was shooting the You know door. what? You Go fuck up. yourself. You know what? You're a fucking asshole. The Get the fuck out of here, all right? Jesus. You're a real moron. What is it, Ralph? Hey, now? Hey, now. Hey, you know, it's just kind of interesting because Ronnie must really hate him because Ronnie, you know... I don't hate anybody, okay? I don't hate him. <laughs> yeah, but, but if like, you Ronnie's did hate nice somebody... Guy, but Ronnie comes off like yeah. a hard ass, but Ronnie really is a nice guy. And so this guy must have really done something to piss him off. What is it, Ronnie? Uh, I don't even want to get into it. I made sense. Yeah, you made sense. Do you Sorry. know what you did? Yeah, he just, uh, I, I guess, you know, he really thinks, he says that he doesn't, but he definitely has some sort, he's the hall monitor, he does have a, a position monitor, of authority. Right. Exactly. However, if I ever question that authority, only because it completely defies logic when he's making a judgment call, I just, you know, say, this is why I did this, you know, as opposed to just walking away with my tail between because his Because the legs. Terry Shiloh story it. had no impact on these guys. No. Yeah. Raven from Scores. Yeah, I just want to say, when that old Jew Gene starts yelling at people, I get so freaking turned on. I love him. <laughs> yeah, okay, Richard. <laughs> Raven. Richard. Was that supposed to be a chick? I yeah. think so. Michael Schiavo, who was the husband of Terry Schiavo. Hello, Michael. Hello. Yes. I know you're very sad. What do you want to say? I just want to say that Terry died because she was so bored from this argument. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Zola. Thank you, Sal. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Man, listen. He, Ronnie, is an egomaniac and a control freak. He's got Dan all wrong. Dan is so professional around like people who have uh, you know star status and stuff like that. 
I've been out with Dan, and we've been in front of like a lot. All of right, different you know we're never Zola. We're never going to satisfy this argument. Well, listen, get the tapes out of the first time I came into the studio. Ronnie was up my butt like there was no tomorrow. Cursing so unprofessional. Well, you be, maybe you weren't behaving yourself. Yeah. No, I was totally, and I didn't even raise my voice. Yeah, and I gave him every yeah. yes, sir. Bring I got out the you, tapes. Sir. Bring out the tapes. How drunk were you that day, dude? All right, okay. Come listen. On. I don't know what's going on out there. We figure out how to behave out there. I'm behaving. Try to behave I'm in a fine. professional. I've been, I've been here a long time, haven't I? I had a woman in here oh, yeah. who bleached the inside yeah, of her butt, and I you know, guys didn't it. act professionally. Yeah, I saw it. It looked good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to work this out of a lunch run or no, no, get together later no, on today? No? no, I can't. But okay. there's, no interest in sort of, there's no interest in making it easier for you guys? Yeah, it's easy for me. No, it's it been, is It's not. been fine all this time. It's so funny. He's like, no, I don't need the guy. However, don't say a word to me. I'm done. That's good. That's a good way to say it. I'm done. I'm done. All right, let's uh, take a break. Everybody uh, calm down. There's some I'm kind calm, of fight. Man. No, you're no, not. There's no fight. Dude, the guy handed you pictures when and you he set off fight? your fuse. Do you I don't understand fight? the animosity. Uh, no you say this goes back a long way and you I, don't trust the guy as far as you can throw him. That sounds pretty... Um, yeah. Pretty intense. Yeah. yeah. Backstory. We need there's back. no fight. We need backstory. The wrong fighting with him? We need backstory. Come on, Ron. No backstory. All right, then let's be done with it. Let's be done with it then. I'll save him from that. I want him to feel comfortable working here. Good, let him make out. him comfortable. Uh, 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 dude. You want to be the hall monitor, you're going to make I'll... everyone comfortable. You hear what I said? I heard All right, I'll go out there and make so him comfortable. So speak to him like you speak to everybody else. Right. <laughs> he does. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs>